way to describe it to us? Well, look, I, I think it was constructive. Um, as I said, I remained unconvinced um, that, any, that people were possibly getting the fairest deal by the end of the meeting. And I, I did tell BP at the end of the meeting um, that I still wasn't convinced that New Zealanders were getting a fair deal. But I think it was a constructive meeting. Uh, BP, I would note, has been one of the fuel companies that has cooperated with MB um, throughout the process of putting together reports and has released the information um, that is required. Um, so um, I did say that we had appreciated that behaviour from them in the past and we'd look for that behaviour continuing into the future. Um, it, it, yes, it was a robust meeting. Um, I think it was constructive but robust. Well, one of the things that, um, when I first became Minister, is that I asked officials to come to me with a range of um, regulatory interventions that we could make while we waited for the, Commerce Co uh, for the Commerce Act amendments to go through to give the market studies powers to the Commerce Commission. But one of the problems that we've come up against is that it's impossible to do the cost-benefit analysis on those regulatory reforms without having all the informa information. So we're caught in a bit of a catch-22. There's some stuff that we could do, like, for example, things like um, making wholesale pricing um, transparent, um, but how do you measure that against a range of other things? So um, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait till we have those market study powers um, and can um, do a full so cost-benefit analysis before we can understand the parameters that we can look at in terms of further regulatory reform. Is it the size of the profits that you object to, or how they get the profits? I think it's the price. It's the pricing mechanism, and I think that's one of the things that all the all the reports have um, look, have pointed to that that it is entirely possible that people aren't paying a fair price at the pump. I take this back to the individual that goes up and fills up their car, and whether or not they're paying a fair price. No one wants to think that they're paying a different price 20k down the road. Um, um, than they would be at another pl another point. We need to have that kind of certainty that people um, are paying a fair price when they fill it, when they fill up Sorry. their car.